Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Luck Via Landlord. Uh, this is my first time playing on the new patch that just released. Let's see how the changes are felt. I will take Egg to go with my Pearl. Shiny Pebble is just a better Pearl. We're gonna have a lot of early rares if we get more of those. I think a monkey's good early. I just don't think mining pick is as good as lock pick. Oh wait, they changed it, right? Maybe I should take it then. Yo, we got gear early. Ooh, banana. Rabbit fluff. I think it's like a better shiny pebble, so I might as well take it. Alright, so Sword Jar got buffed. It should pay out for a while. Alright, we don't have any suits this round. Nice. Pie Pepper is a good get. Do not have a ninja yet. Ooh, this must be the new guy. Finally, we have a way of killing the, uh... What's it called? The urns and stuff. I almost took a second ninja. Oh, this is the new thing. be right back. Yo, I'm back. I just wanted to update the, um, thing. None of these are, like, exciting. We can maybe take rabbits now. I'm not sure what symbol I do want to get rid of. Ooh, Rusty Gear is going to pay out a lot there for each. Alright, this got buffed, so I'm going to take it. Terrific. Coconut will get eaten. So here's the thing, I have like one human in this whole thing. So I think I'd rather more katanas. Miss Fruit is really good, I will definitely take that. She's already eaten stuff. Okay, there we go, she ate her first thing. We do have a banana peel. Mm -hmm. 
I was hoping I'd get the Pearl Synergy faster. I wasn't sure how the um, removed worked, which is why I didn't use it earlier. I thought I had to wait for the Oyster to be on the board. Ooh, that is nice. We've not gotten a single urn yet. <laughs> Alright, this might be where we lose, we'll see. This fruit, it looks like, is not going to get a chance to scale here. Although this will be great. This is probably like the one time I shouldn't take Hustling Capsule. Oh, I didn't get Miss Fruit. Uh, will that be enough? Okay, we got a bit lucky there. Oh, that works on Voidstone now. If we can get a mouse, that will be quite good. I think still just pearls are what we want to get rid of. Oh, and in, in case you don't know, they added um, Coconut Half to Miss Fruit for her item pool. Trying to get Miss Fruit buff, but she won't show up on the board. Uh, Cola is the same value, but this run feels behind. Just not drawing her. Oh, Sapphire is a two cost. I think I might have been incorrect when I said all the two costs were removed then. Yeah, she's getting buffed. It's kind of slow, but it is working. I feel like reroll capsule is just really good right now. There's so much you could potentially get. Ooh, Pizza the Cat. That'll be great. Alright, first game is a loss, but that's alright. Cats are always a safe play early. So are Coles. I think Toddler is better than Banana Peel, because I never get thieves. I don't know why, I've like never seen a thief. Especially when I have a Banana Peel. I should have taken five side diet, what am I doing? This might save us a bit. This run definitely is a lot of stuff that will eventually pay out. I thought the monkey was a toddler. I, t <laughs> I took a candy because of that. <laughs> I'm gonna take the mouse before the cheese this time. Okay. Actually getting early synergies might let me carry for a little bit. Or it might carry me for a little bit. So I think the changes to um, being able to destroy stuff... It was last game, we had a miner. I'll take the hooligan then. I think Swear Jar is the best for early game. It should ensure that we get to late game. Now that I think about it, early Oyster... I should have taken the key there. Early Oyster could be real good. The 
There's not really a reason to take two of you. I'll take three-sided. It doesn't have any great synergies, but it's alright. That was a really good get for me. Yeah, we'll survive for a long time off of that. I could take Hex of Destruction and then get rid of it later. Only thing is I'm worried about it eating the coal now. Maybe I should have thought of that first. Got rid of the plum. Take a flower. It did eat the coal! I totally predicted that! <laughs> well, it'll buff the hexes, I guess. So I just fertilizer. I think golden egg is worth Because our deck's gonna be really small because of the hexes. <sighs> Oyster, not bad also. For early game. Yeah, which synergizes with Owl now? Aww, you still buffed it, even though it killed you. <laughs> That's so, like, weirdly sweet. Aw, rip cat. get rid of the hexes, I kind of don't. I should have gotten rid of the hexes. How did they go right for the thing that matters? Alright, no more hexes. <sighs> we'll add another oyster, I guess. Hope for a diver. Alright, chances are we're still gonna die, but whatever. We don't have a dwarf this run. Oh wait, yeah we do. I just didn't grab it for some reason. Uh, bear is very niche. If we can get a beehive though, we'll be in a good shape. Alright, we just barely enough for that. Let's get rid of one of those oysters. Beer for the dwarf is good. Not taking another coal. Alright, we might actually kind of be in this. I don't know, we are getting a lot of payouts, but we don't have much else going on. Shouldn't that be a hundred then if I have two? Or is it just a 50% chance twice? Anyways, we lose. <laughs> I thought it would stack so it would be a guaranteed kill on it. 
Definitely makes the game a lot harder, uh, the increased run early. You should have more freedom in deck builds though. Please give egg carton. I think early wolf is good. I think Logpick is better than Grave Robber now that there's multiple ways of fixing that. Of fixing urns with the new item. Early game, my plans are not changing. I still want the high value stuff like coal. And I don't want to take stuff that's not great. We already have a mouse. We do not have a dwarf. Yellow pepper will eventually be great though. It might be a win just off Robin Hood alone. I'll take goldfish and hope for uh, the best. <sighs> hope in the dream. These are some interesting stuff. We have a few animals, so we'll take here. Do not have a dwarf yet. I'm just gonna get rid of the stuff that is pretty much useless for now. I can finally use lockpick here. Like, there's a lot of things that synergize with Beastmaster, but I feel like just waiting... Waiting for the eggs to hatch is the right move. Ooh, recycling is so strong. But I need... I don't know, it's a weird choice. I need the money to carry me to late game. Should probably get rid of Shiny Pebble. Or Candy or Flower. I'm gonna hope for goldfish tank still and keep it around. I think flower is more synergy than a cherry. It's interesting to me that yellow pepper didn't trigger there. I guess the safe broke, it didn't count. Crow, um, 
gives two, so it would give three a turn. And with tax evasion, it could be really good, because we do have Robin Hood. I think I'm going to take it. Despite it being kind of not that great sometimes. I'm not going to take the extra egg. Our deck is pretty full. I want to keep drawing the coal. Demons give more, beer gives more. We really only have... Oh, it'll work on Robin Hood. Okay, that's really good. Robin Hood will steal less now. Yeah, that was a great choice. So Chemical 7 is interesting because, like... Ooh, Magpie too. We got like a bird deck going on. Man, I just don't know what to get rid of here. Can we get rid of an empty? What would that even do? Let's get rid of a flower. We don't have any flower synergies. Shiny Pebbles passive is really good. Diamond just popped. We got rid of the candy earlier. I think I'll take the seed. I like the possibilities that seeds give. Ah, reroll is great, but if we can get cultists going, that'll be really good. Now that we have direct removal, we can get rid of the less useful stuff. I still think goose isn't worth, because it's only two, and golden egg isn't that great. I should stop taking birds, because it gets rid of my diamond space. Diver wouldn't really have anything to eat. Looting glove will help us out a lot in the short term. I do have a monkey, so I kill the monkey, eat the banana, and then kill it after. Beastmaster is doing really good work. I do not have Ninja Mouse, so I don't think it's worth a spot in my inventory. Mouse does only give one. We wouldn't be missing out on too much. I think I'll keep the three dice. Because the possibility is uh, too average. It's a bit late to still keep going for clubs. I'd much rather have multiple cultists. Now, I could take the chick. If we want Frying Pan to pay out, we need some chefs and stuff. Safe with Looting Glove gives 45. And it's guaranteed to eventually pop. We do have a chance of triggering this. It's pretty small, but we do have a chance of triggering it. Coconut Half is probably better than Hustling Capsule, but it won't take up a space. Lockbox, let's go. Instant payout. How much? 24. 
Can't take the coal. I don't got time. Another egg hatched. Let's go. Buffing capsule is great. That was a 100 turn. Thieves give extra. We do have a banana on the deck. We have like one diamond. Let's just get another crow. Probably should get rid of shiny pebble at some point. I like shiny pebble, it's just a worse version of rabbit fluff though. If we could get Miss Fruit, that would be really nice. <sighs> Extra Beastmaster is great. Okay, give me something good. It feels weird to use my reroll on stuff that destroys itself, because in general stuff that destroys itself is always very, very good. We're starting to get our cultists lining up. That's unfortunate. So is it better to get rid of a chicken or a crow? Oh, a crow takes away money. Yeah, they give two. I don't know if I can justify it. I think chickens are just better at this point in the game. Beastmaster hitting the wolf. Oh, the wolf is worth two. So it should be eight. Nice. <laughs> Can't justify a seed for now. <laughs> I don't know if rabbit's worth, because... Might not be worth. I don't know. I should definitely get rid of that club I picked up for no reason. We're starting to get lucky with cultists though, which is really good. General Zaroff kills Cultus. Pink Pepper is interesting. That's new, I think. Okay, the three times more likely to add symbols is a bit scary. I have four chickens. I could just get rid of one of them. I think for now, let's just keep getting rid of the crows. Chef works on golden eggs still. I'll take one chef, just in case. That'll be worth four on its own. I'm pretty sure that's worth. And the added chance is still not a guarantee, so I could go a while without seeing any of those. The thing is, it's starting to get out of control a bit. Nice. How much are you gonna make? Twelve. Nothing crazy, but that's alright. We have one dwarf. Oh, I think I totally forgot about the doors earlier. 
Um, it does not work on omelets. Ooh, that's kind of weird. I wonder why it works like that. Or it doesn't work like that. Uh, rusty year would have made eight there. Should definitely get rid of the goldfish at some point. So the 5% chance of adding honey... I don't want to have to worry about leveling that guy up. In terms of ninjas, we have none. I might be playing wrong. Because, um... I could be waiting to use the skips later. That is a 16 chicken. Nice. Actually, two of them. We still have banana peel, yes. The thing is that eventually the chickens are gonna overrun the rest of the board. Probably should take a lockbox over coconut half. Did Tomb pay out yet? We have one club in the entire deck. We have one goldfish. I'm gonna take the diver. Whatever, who cares how full our deck is? We're making rent. Oh, I should take in the coin. Doesn't give any permanence though, so it's basically just an extra three. I want like five more Beastmasters, that would be ideal. There's no way we're gonna get rid of all the chickens, but I gotta keep trying, right? I wanna keep the tomb there. Maybe omelet's better to get rid of. I don't know though, it does synergize with the chef. Wait, did we actually take the chef? Yeah, he's right over there. Omelette will give six if next to chef. I don't know if it's better to get rid of the chicken or the egg. The chicken does synergize off Beastmaster, where I don't think the egg does. The chick does, though. We're never drawing that coal, by the way. <laughs> Look at all these Beastmasters, though. That's worth 16. I should take a turtle for Diver. Whatever. I just took Diver to forget about it anyways. Hex of Destruction. With a deck this huge is I think arguably pretty good. I'm still not gonna take it. If 
I could get tax evasion or checkered flag, I would be pumped. Oh, look at Chef. Chef is doing stuff. Yo, first time seeing Thief. Oh, he doesn't do anything. Nice, I rolled a one twice. <laughs> Coin on string pan out there. So not sure if this is endless potential, but this is my first win. Which is pretty cool. What? That beer just turned into an omelette. <laughs> this game. This time your landlord was eternally imprisoned. Endless mode unlocked. Egg carton kind of pog. Oh, so you, you are just worthless. Well, that's annoying. That's weird. I thought like if you got a rare and you rerolled, you'd have to get a rare. Maybe that wasn't a rare though. That monkey was worth 44. Ooh, the doll has finally turned into final form. It says gives 4, but it gave 7. Maybe there's a buffing capsule. Hustling capsule is probably arguably worse than a buffing capsule, but I still like it because I'm crazy. It's weird having coin be a takeable item. Because for so long it just wasn't at all. Yo, the coal. <laughs> Slowly but surely. It's putting in the work. Alright, how much does a thief give? Zero. Thank you, <laughs> anthropology degree. The only real way to fix that would be making Thief take two, but I think that would just screw people over more. Wait, what does that say? Huh, I thought they updated this. Oh, the filter! That's the filter in the top right. Terrific. So many items, I'm just like staring at them, like not comprehending. I think I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Oh, the reroll was there, but it doesn't show up on the bottom left. Maybe it like goes away. Oh, yeah, it's just not always active. Chickens are only given golden eggs. I should, uh, oh, well, let me switch. Let's 
do have a misfruit. So we can take some more of this stuff. Rabbits now can add fluff. Actually, I think my odds of getting this fruit is probably like 1 in 3 with how big my deck is. Still gonna keep taking stuff though. I actually haven't seen Chef in like the last 10 spins. Well, this is the end. This concludes my first ever uh, Luck Be a Landlord new patch. Endless run. I think that was a pretty fun one. <laughs> we had a lot of chickens. You know, that's how you judge a run. How many chickens did you have? I had eight. Which is a lot. It's, you know, enough to start like a small, a small coop. Small chicken community. <sighs> and our... Yeah, egg carton now says three. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a change. I don't remember if it actually showed up on the inventory screen before, but it does now. We got four hustling capsules, four pool balls. All the rabbit synergies you could hope for, all the beast masters. It's still not quite enough for endless mode yet. Hmm. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and I will see you on the next Luck Be a Landlord. Thanks for watching.